Let's build your squeeze page using 100% free software to promote your offer or an affiliate offer. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a copy of all of our funnel templates for free. Now, when it comes to a successful squeeze page, you only need three core conversion elements. Number one, an attention grabbing headline that clearly communicates what's in it for whoever's just hit your page build some interest with a clear picture of what's being offered. Now, a lead magnet is what powers this whole page. So if you don't already have a lead magnet idea, even if you're running affiliate offers, you still should have your own lead magnet. Link in the cards in the description to a full-blown guide on exactly how to do that or create, create a lead magnet, do that. Create a lead magnet. And then of course, we need to drive action with a clear button for someone to join your email list to get whatever the lead magnet is. So again, timestamps below. Let's go ahead, jump into my screen here. We're going to be using a free piece of software called Systemi.io. If you do decide to upgrade in the future, we receive a commission as a way to support this channel. So inside of here, there are lots of different funnels. Link in the cards in the description to super long guides to actually building out full funnels with upsells and downsells and all that fun stuff, membership sites. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create. And then I'll say we're building an audience to create a squeeze page. And I'll just say this is a demo. And then we'll go ahead and click on create here. So first we need to select our squeeze page template. Now, as you can see here, there are a lot of options, but what makes a squeeze page different from a landing page is we're not going to have bullet points or testimonials or anything extra around getting people to join for the lead magnet. We are just going to keep it super, super basic so we can go ahead and use this template. So uh, you, you could preview. I'm just going to go ahead and select it and start our editing. So I'll come in here and edit the page. And of course we can change anything we want about this template. You can see here it's like most page builders, but for time purposes, let's just go ahead and quickly change out our layout here so that we don't have any bullet points because if we had bullet points, then we would have a landing page. So here we're just going to have our lead magnet in the middle and then of course a headline. So. We'll quickly go through some basics of editing and then we'll jump into actually bringing over our copy and a simple headline formula you can use for your own squeeze page. So the first thing I like to do is change all of the font settings. So I'm going to come up here to settings and I'm going to change the default font for the entire page. So I'll choose Poppins. Here's a list of fonts that you can use for your own landing page. The whole purpose here is to just keep it nice and simple for our, I see I said landing page, squeeze page. Then for our colors, I like having one accent color. So I'll drop in the blue that we're going to use. And then we're pretty much good to go here. We just need to swap out a couple of things. So at the very top, we are actually going to be offering a Facebook ads audit. So we'll just go ahead and give that a title here. And we'll just say free Facebook ads secrets. Then for our headline here, I'll come over and grab our headline, how to 3X your ROAS in the next seven days without increasing your ad spend. I'll get to the formula in a moment. And of course, you do want to make sure that when you're pasting in your headline, you don't manually hit enter to try and get the, the text to work on lines. Because when we come down here and click on the preview for mobile, you'll see that now we have all of these really weird spaces in our headline. So, We'll have to come in here and remove all of those. So make sure you bring it in at one line and it still looks funny and of course we can fix it. So we'll go ahead and fix it on desktop first. I'll go ahead and select all of this. We can of course change our letter spacing if we wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at uh, zero here. And then for our font size, I'm going to bring our font size down a bit so that it's easier to read. I'll change our line height a little bit here, bring it in a little bit more. And then if you want to change how your text is in terms of the lines, the only thing that you need to do here is come down to the margin and start changing your side margin. So here we'll go ahead and say, let's put it at 100 so you can see the difference, 110. And then for our left, we'll also put 110. And you see now it's put it right in the center. Of course, that looks a little funny. So we'll go ahead and undo that and just leave it the way it was. We could probably mess with the font more. For time purposes, I'll go ahead and leave it alone. I'll go and delete this element that we don't need anymore, eliminating some extra space. And let's go ahead and change the color of our text to our accent blue. So I'll come back over here, saved our blue color code. 
And I like having one or two colors max on a landing page or squeeze page. And the reason I like doing it this way is because it makes it a lot easier to have your call to action button stand out. Otherwise you'll have too many colors. Now for our image element, all we need to do is upload an image or come to our images here. I think I already have one. So let's go ahead and grab this. Now this image was made using Canva. And so it's really easy to make images like this. And they also have 3D mockups now. And so we made the cover in Canva, put it on a 3D mockup using Canva again. And that's how we got this image. Of course, this is way too big. So we need to select our image element and then go ahead and click and drag down the size to where it's not super overbearing. And of course, we can also do things like drop shadow. We can add some rounded corners or we could blur it out if we wanted to create some mystery or intrigue around it. Although we don't really want to do that right now. And we can also choose whether or not it shows up on desktop or just a mobile device. So that does it for our squeeze page. And of course, we need to change our call to action button. So our call to action button here is going to be get access with a rocket emoji just to show that this is time to go. And so we'll click on our element here and then we'll come on down and change the button text to this. And then I'm going to grab my blue code again <laughs> and change the actual button color. So for the button color, all the settings are to the left here. And so we'll go ahead and drop in our blue for get access. And then of course we can change the style if we wanted rounded corners or we wanted to drop a shop, a shaft. Draw, drop a some sort of shadow around it. I think that looks a little too web 1.0, but we'll go ahead and leave it for now. And for our button width, we can of course make it full width. I think that looks a little too big. So we'll leave it at fluid and then we can use the padding elements to change the actual length or, length or width. Should it be width? Uh, I'm gonna keep saying width. And of course we can change that with the padding. So if we bring the padding down and it looks like that, or if we bring it up like that, it looks like that. So we'll go ahead and leave it just about, let's do 113. There we go. And so this is all there is to it to putting together a squeeze page. Simple pages like this convert can convert upwards of 30, sometimes 50%. We have a, a simple squeeze page like the one you're seeing here. This one still converts around 50%. So you don't have to be really complicated. Now, when it comes to the headline for your squeeze page, this formula, how to result in the next time frame without roadblock is a excellent formula to use. It clearly communicates what someone's going to get as a result of getting the lead magnet. You're addressing an objection with the roadblock saying, hey, you're gonna overcome this thing and achieve the result that you want. Plus you're going to do it in record time. Now, obviously your time frame does need to be reasonable. It, with this particular one, it says seven days. If I said three extra ROAS in seven hours, that would probably be a little ridiculous. Like we're not gonna get that big of a result in the next seven hours, but hey, maybe in the next seven days, right? And so the last thing we need to do is adjust our pop-up. And so you can see here when we click on the button, the action is to show pop-up number one. So if we click on pop-ups here and we click to view our pop-up, you can see that this is the pop-up that shows. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is change out our image. So we see the same lead magnet image again. When you use pop-ups like this, keep things consistent. Show them the exact same thing over again. And for time purposes, I'm going to go ahead and delete the headline up top here. We don't need that. So we're just going to collect the name and email. And then of course, we're going to go ahead and change the button color again. So it's the same blue as the first button that they clicked. So we're gonna keep everything consistent. And then if you have any sort of legal text or legal disclaimers, you most likely need to have that at the bottom here as well. So we'll go ahead and exit our pop-up here and save our changes. And just like that, we have our squeeze page. So I can go ahead and exit here. So we can go ahead and click the eye icon to preview the page. So we can click get access. Someone can enter their name and email. And of course, systemy.io can also handle the automations on the free plan as well. Of course, there are some limitations, but when you upgrade, you have all the email automations that you need. And there's enough on the free plan to get started, especially if you just want to promote one of your offers or another affiliate offer. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of how to quickly put together a squeeze page using systemy.io. Even if you use a different piece of software, 
This is all you need for a squeeze page. You really do not need to overcomplicate it. You don't need a bunch of elements on the page in order to start growing your email list and making some sales. So hit that like button, subscribe for more guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.